All right, happy Friday, guys. Uh, quick announcement, next Thursday, we're gonna be hosting a pull-up clinic on Thursday. I'm gonna be running everything to do with a strict pull-up, so getting the strength uh, to be able to pull yourself up um, and then gradually building up to that kipping pull-up. So a majority of the session is gonna be how to learn to activate your lats, what movements you should be focusing on, um, maybe some weaknesses that you may have that's holding you back from a pull-up. We're gonna focus everything to do with a pull-up so that you guys are getting ready and working towards a kipping pull-up eventually there. So plan is to work on that strict pull-up this Thursday, um, really get you guys going with the skills um, and the programming to start doing that. Then next month, we'll follow that up with a kipping pull-up, working on the kipping technique so that we can start to build the strength and technique together to get that kipping pull-up all together. So if that's an interest of yours, definitely get signed up on that, that you should find that on Mind Body, or you can just easily come up the front and we can get you um, through with that. Uh, the goal with that again is to start with strict pull-ups, really start to learn how to activate the skill of properly doing the movement before you get more dynamic with it. So let me know if you guys are interested or let one of the coaches know and we can sign you guys up. Um, other than that, today's workout, we got a strength piece, five rounds of three strict presses. Uh, we're gonna do three reps every time at the top. We're gonna hold it for four seconds, making sure we're in a nice locked out position. What I'm looking for here is uh, engagement between the top inside edges of your shoulder blades. So think about your shoulder blades. You want to squeeze the top inside edges nice and tight. Elbows are locked out and your core is engaged at the top. So on every rep of that four second hold, think about those cues to make sure you're in the right position there. After the strength, our workout is a three round workout. We're going to row 250 and then we're going to go 21 double under, 21 dual dumbbell thrusters, 12 chest to bar pull ups. The weight for the dumbbell is gonna be 30 pounds for guys, 20 for the ladies. What we're looking for with this one is to bring that intensity. So choose progressions today that will allow you to move quickly. Um, if you don't have chest bars, today might be the day just to do chin over bar pull-ups if you have them or something that will get the heart rate up. I recommend you guys stay away from something that's strict as uh, only if you really still need to work on that strict strength. If anything, Maybe jumping pull-ups might be an option for you if you have good control. If not, definitely go back down to chest bar or not chest bar, uh, ring rows to really work on that control if you don't have it quite yet. The goal is to bring the intensity, so we want to push the pace for those first two rounds, and then once we get to that third round, we're gonna know that we're tired, but we got one more round that we can push through. If we find that we're really tired by the first round, make sure you kind of pace that second round so that you have enough in the tank to really give it your all on that last round. Ideally, that last round should be your fastest round uh, if you properly pace this three round workout there. So good one to challenge your uh, conditioning, your weightlifting and your gymnastics today. So hope you guys enjoy this one and we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one.